Hi, good afternoon. My name is Stefan von der Flaert, and I'm one of the co-founders of Nucleus. We help big teams act small. Ever since a young age, I have been in love with technology and its ability to touch and influence people's lives. My parents both worked in tech their entire life. My father worked for companies such as GE, HP, and NCR. And my mother, the entrepreneur of the family, well, she started out by building boards out of her dorm room in California. It's safe to say that I grew up on technology and oatmeal. Now, with this deep love and fascination for technology, it has been driving every decision I make in life from creating three startups, to studying at Cambridge, to working for Intel. Whilst at university, I met Alex, my co-founder. Together, we created Unibubble, a tool built to connect students on campus. A couple years later, we shifted on focus onto what was then the precursor of Nucleus, helping students with startup ideas connect with other students to realize them. Now, we've been obsessed on solving this problem of connecting people and ideas for a very, very long time. And now together with this incredible team, we are bringing this obsession into the workplace. Nucleus unlocks and accelerates your company's innovation potential, removing luck and chance from the equation forever. Now innovation is like this mysterious unicorn, which everyone wants to catch and ride. But unfortunately, for the majority of companies, innovation is extremely hard to accomplish in today's fast-paced and chaotic world. With all of these new theories and models and approaches, why is it then that companies struggle? They pay millions upon millions in bringing outside experts in. But at the end of the day, they're back to square one. It's because all of these new models and new theories and new approaches are being implemented into old legacy structures. In organizations where innovation is limited from coming from the top and being pushed down, innovation doesn't get the outlet it needs to thrive. That is why these companies, which we all knew and probably some of us used, have been replaced by these guys. I believe it was Einstein who said, doing the same thing over and over and over again and expecting a different result is the definition of insanity. Failure to react to your industry's trends and complacency leads plain and simple to extinction. So what then made these guys win? Well, they were simply better and faster at reacting to their industry's trends and shipping great products. Plain and simple, the companies that manage to do this are the companies that will prevent their extinction. So what can we learn? Well, you no longer need huge organizations with thousands of people spread across dozens of departments to create great products. Instead, you need small, agile teams which are able to work and form across your organization. The era of team-driven organizations has arrived. Now, I personally experienced the issue that large companies faced when I was at Intel. The monumental problem of finding and connecting effectively with your own colleagues to get initiatives off the ground. So, if we look at this, this is the old structure. This is what it used to be. You are thinking it's probably too much work for large companies to change the way they work. Why would they even try? Well, we have seen throughout our business development activities how large companies like GE, Ian Hay and Aneco are actively today making their strides into this new era. Those that do are the ones that are going to prevent their own extinction. Now let's be honest. Realistically, it's simply physically impossible to manually keep track of all your people, their skills, and their ideas. This problem gets exponentially worse as you grow. Now in a small team, you know everyone, their skills and their ideas, because communication is easier. Well, at Lucas, we give you this superpower, helping big teams act small. Nucleus reinvents the way you connect and find expertise in your organization, helping the flow and momentum of innovation in your company going. Now, our philosophy at Nucleus is very simple. If you give your own people 
the freedom to explore opportunities in their organization, and the ability to connect with their colleagues on this level, your company's innovation abilities will thrive. Now, there's no better way of telling you the power of Nucleus than by showing it to you. So let's do that. When we set out to build Nucleus, we wanted to create a tool that was not only incredibly intuitive to use from a user's perspective, but one that was also immensely intelligent. This is where the computer science background of Alex, my co-founder, really comes to life. So the four key pillars of our technology are search, behavior modeling, validation, and data analytics. Let's start off with search. Right, the human language is an incredibly complex thing, especially when it comes to describing your skills, because there is no universal taxonomy of skills. Well, our search uses natural language processing, meaning we're able to understand these subtleties. Furthermore, it's semantic, meaning that we're able to understand a skill, its context, and its relationship with other skills. Therefore, people are no longer restricted to static tags. They're free to describe themselves however they see fit. It's our job, it's the algorithm's job, intelligently, to find you people in the network with similar or like-for-like -like relevant skills. Next up is behavior modeling. Through sentiment analysis, we analyze the conversations and its sentiment. What we then do is we correlate this with the length of that conversation and the type of skill requested. What this allows us to do is understand the users, their interests, and what they engage with, allowing us to create a profile for people beyond what they themselves fill into the platform. Of course, people are free to describe themselves however they see fit. But in order for us to guarantee quality recommendations, we've implemented validation. From multiple sources, we're able to see if it's positive or feedback, and correlate this with the type of skill requested, being able to then validate if this individual has that said skill. What we then do is we look at a user-to-user -user interaction. Do they know this person? Is this a first-time connection? What is their working relationship? To provide a true 360-degree feedback with unbiased results. And finally, from all of this information and stuff that's happening on Nucleus, we're able to provide management with what we call their innovation pulse. Essentially, visualizing in real time the state of productivity and innovation in your company. Using graph theory, we map informal networks, i.e. which departments are collaborating with each other and which ones aren't. We then go one level higher analyzing the project trends in your organization. What is currently today happening project-wise? So if you as a company are focusing on IoT, this is exactly what you want to see. If not, you as management now have the insight to address this clear lack of focus. And finally, we go one level above that, analyzing a skill gap in your company. What skills are you missing? What's bottlenecking your innovation today? Now, what is the result of all of this incredible machine learning and big data processing technology? Well, if I'm looking for, say, a Java expert in my organization, what used to take weeks, if not months, of manual work, email threads, and chance connections, we at Nucleus now filter this down to a matter of minutes. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the future of work. Now, from our conversations, we noticed a common thread. Luck and chance connections are much too frequently occurring. Now, with all of this technology available to us today, why is luck and chance such a key driver in driving your business forward? We think that's wrong. Nucleus reinvents the way people connect and find expertise in their organization, removing luck and chance connections from the equation forever. Now, we joined Startup Bootcamp as two co-founders in April this year. In the time we've been here, we've doubled our team and continue to grow as we accelerate Nucleus into the market. From our conversations with some of Holland's most forward-thinking companies, we've gotten tremendous results. And this shows in our sales pipeline, 
as it accumulates and continues to do so week after week. Now, as you can see, we've been pretty busy and we have no intentions in slowing down. Now, I have some very exciting news to share with all of you today, something that we at Nucleus and the team are exceptionally proud of. One of the world's most innovative banks has decided to adopt Nucleus to help drive their business forward. We couldn't be more proud than to say that our first paid pilot is with ING. Thank you. Now, in the next 10 years, team-driven organizations will be the norm. Nucleus is the platform which enables your company to transition into this future of work. The name of the game is very simple. Disrupt yourself or be disrupted by those who do. Now is the time for you to lead your company into this future. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Stephen von der we are Nucleus, and we help big teams act small. Thank you.